This is the first of a number of short programmes uh, that we have shot about the chart tagging programme of Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. Uh, this has been set up by DEFRA and CFAS in partnership with the Bluefin Tuna campaign and 15 licensed charter skippers based along the south coast of England. And they range from St Ives in Cornwall all the way up to Ryan East Sussex. Business clusters and ELS are part funded by the European Social Fund. So here, here we are doing a little safety briefing before we go out. We're at Mylor down in uh, Cornwall. We're off to do some tuna fishing. And uh, we've got a bit of fog in the bay. But hopefully the sun will burn that off before time. We're looking forward to it, it's going to be great fun. And let's hope we get a tuna. More later. Good day. So how far offshore are we going? Uh, well, we, we might go out to eight miles or so. Yeah. No, we don't really plan. We just we're looking and following. And all looking the time for what? We're changing our pool. We've got if we don't see life, then we go to where we recently caught. All right. For no other reason than to get a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish are moving, of course, so they're going to be there. So but you're spotting. I mean, you're looking for birds, presumably to start with. We're looking for life all the time. Yeah, yeah. And somebody told me that, she, well, you mentioned it earlier, shear waters in particular. Shear waters Why? are the ones that you can't see them at distance, though, no, they stay to, low yeah. and they're small. But they're often, if, if, if when you get to a load of birds, you can see shear waters in amongst it, then it gives you a good feeling. Why? They seem to follow the tuna. Oh. I don't know what the relationship is, but they... they where they are, yeah. the tuna seem to follow them. Yeah, okay. Cool, okay. So that's where we see from. <laughs> I saw one shear water yesterday. Do you follow do you follow features on the, the um, sounder as well? I mean, do you look for sort of no, things like ledges no. or ridges that they I'm might run along? I'm using the sounder all the time because I can see life under the sea and I can see yeah. fish coming up. And sometimes you, you normally see these fish come up to about 30 foot. Really? About you can see them down. on the sp yeah, sounder but we doing it. don't know whether that's dolphins or, yeah, well, you're or not tuna. Sure, yeah. If you're not seeing dolphins on the top, then we assume it's tuna. Um, <coughs> and there's been one occasion last week where fish come up disappeared from my sound it didn't do we didn't see the image going back down and a few seconds later we had a take so definitely tune on that occasion oh right and well, there are a lot of dolphins in falmouth bay aren't there i mean yeah. you know and dolphins are life so if we see dolphins we'll go for the dolphins however if we find life without dolphins we seem to get more tuna hookups really yeah interesting I, I, in the series we're going to focus on all aspects of catching bluefin tuna. The science, the tackle, the techniques, the fight, the preparation, and of course, the fishing itself. So we're here, uh, still on Steve Force's boat, obviously. We've been trolling up and down all day. Um, various different places, pretty much from Falmouth Bay all the way to the Dodman and back. We have seen quite a few tuna. Uh, we have one big bust uh, halfway through the day, another one very early on. And we've seen signs of tuna on the fish finder and you can see that. Um, uh, you can identify them clearly because of the way the signal uh, seems to concentrate on the fish coming right up and then just dropping down again on top of the bait boards. Um, we've had all sorts of different types of uh, colours rigs out. We've had a couple of takes uh, when we went through a bust, but it's been quite frustrating for everybody because we know the fish are down there and we think they're very deep and they're just not coming up uh, high enough in the water column to take 
are trolled that over 50 tuna have been caught and tagged and released already and we've only got what, barely two weeks three weeks maybe into the program and in fact there have been at least three I think, other fish caught today and hopefully as the light fades uh, the tide is slackened off quite a bit um, we're hoping we'll get something before we have to go in uh, at dusk now the, the, there are a lot of dolphins out here we've been encountering them all day uh, and they've been gambling around under the boat or have been fishing uh, concentrating on their fishing uh, you can see the way that they hunt so it's been first of a number of days I think that we've been down here doing this um, and certainly by the time we finished filming for this uh, series of videos we will have had a fish on the boat the fishing was pretty tough for the day. Um, although we saw a good number of fish in two separate bursts, it was clear that they're hugging the bottom. Catching them would have been easier using live bait, I think, but of course, we're not allowed to use that method. The purpose of this series of programs is to inform, educate, and maybe even inspire Atlantic bluefin are possibly the most sought after game fish in the world. They are in angling terms absolute beasts. The power of these fish in the fight, remarkable behaviour witnessed and potentially their biology, I think uh, could be unique amongst fish. I don't think I've ever witnessed uh, or experienced anything quite like fishing for and catching blue f Atlantic bluefin in Cornish waters. The arrival of these incredible animals in British waters, or should I say the reappearance, because as everybody knows, they were regularly caught between the 1920s and the 50s, and famously attracted film stars, writers, playboys, celebrity anglers. Um, this has been baffling anglers, scientists and conservationists since 2016, when they were first seen in numbers. CHART is an acronym for Catch uh, and Release Tagging. It's a program which involves recreational anglers being deployed upon specifically licensed and authorised charter vessels to catch and tag bluefin tuna in a controlled, regulated environment. There was a lot of preparation involved in setting up and running the CHART program. It really isn't just about jumping in a boat and going fishing. The plan for the programme is built around clear guidelines on gear, skipper requirements, vessel licensing criteria, monitoring uh, and reporting obligations, of course pr protocols for catching and then managing the recovery of the fish boat side across the three month season. I'd like to thank Steve Porter and his crew uh, for being so welcoming and letting us film on his boat uh, and of course the angler who was there as well. It was a fabulous day. Uh, I really enjoyed it and uh, there are many more of these to come.